what's up? This is some special footage for you. We got that vlog uh, sparring session. This was Saturday. Uh, you're watching it on Sunday. Um, here, first I want to say big respect to all my opponents. Um, when I break these videos down, I, I try and show both sides, both uh, good punches, good moments from both sides. Um, here you'll see me get clocked. Boom, right in the head. <laughs> this uh, opponent I'm against, ooh, good leg, leg kick right there. He's very tall, so the leg kicks are uh, really good against him. But because he's so tall, his jab is also so fast that um, it's hard to get inside because he also moves around a lot. He's very uh, evasive. So a combination of the jabs and the evasion and the length, it's, it's hard for me to get inside to reach him. But... Um, Got a little slip action there, and here he's just posting his arm out, preventing me from getting inside. Uh, but right here, I wanted to highlight this. I'm slipping the punch, and it's gonna roll off my shoulder as I lean back for the kick, and I can kick him right in his liver. So it's a little counter kick. We can play that back real time. Boom. Um, and that's, that's a, a timing thing I really wanted to highlight because of the, the timing of the slip and the kick. Yeah, he's able to punch me right over my guard. And right here, I got a sick spinning heel kick. Right to his ribs. Um, but yeah, it's, today was um, a, a, an off day. I don't know what I, was going on in my mind, but I was just, I was just mentally dead. Um, nothing really felt right. Uh, nothing really felt right. So I was kind of getting... Uh, picked off a lot, especially by my this partner right here is his long range. Um, that's why you can see me slipping, trying to slip punches and, and get inside that range. Um, I get some good moments here and there, and of course he gets some good moments. Um, but one thing I really need to work on is my uh, jab and my left hand. I, I really, I drop my left hand a lot. Like I said before, I kind of do like a little Philly shell. And it's just a habit, like it's it's not something I prefer, like stylistically, but it's just a habit of, of something I do. Here, I fake the punch so I can kick the leg. Um, and here's my next opponent. Um, not as tall, clearly, so we got a little different game here. Um, using my push kick as a distance managing tool. Like that, can keep him away with the with the push kick, um, and I'm really bringing bringing it up just to just to present it as as a as a threat. Um, here, I fake the push kick and go for a low kick, and then parry that jab um, with uh, with my right arm. Um, Here's just a little distance management, keeping around side his range, very important. Um, but yeah, one thing that I really wanted to, or need to focus on for the future is keeping my left hand up, uh, especially when I throw my, my jabs. If I keep my shoulder up and, and tuck my chin to my shoulder when I throw my jab, that'll prevent like, boom, simultaneous punch. <laughs> we both get each other. Uh, and I slip and I get hit again. We That was another trade, except I punch him in his chest and he got me in the head, so he wins on that, that trade. Um, yeah, I just keep my left hand down so much. Uh, but if I if I can practice jabbing by you know rolling my shoulder up and, and rotating the punch so I can keep my, my head tucked into my shoulder, that is going to do me wonders. Here, I, I fake the, the teep again and I jab, get the jab off. And I, I, you know, keep that distance with the, the push kicks and the jabs right there. A little slip, slip, cross the jab to the body, and then I cover up. That's why it's very important to keep your head covered. Here is what's going to happen when you don't keep your head covered. Boom. Clocked on the, the head with the hook. And I wanted to tie up again. A little left hook to the face there. I wanted to tie up again because the first time I did it when I got hit, I wanted to throw knees, but I, I didn't. So I got a couple knees in here. And then we do a little slipping, tie up again, throw some more knees. 
clean break. Uh, it was a good day, good day of sparring. Um, a lot for me to work on here. I highlighted this specifically just because you can see how I'm about to throw this jab. I throw it from the, the Philly shell kind of arm position, but I'm just not that good at the, at the Philly shell. The Philly shell isn't even something I'm intentionally trying to do. Um, it's just something that I end up doing. So I need to break that habit. Um, I'm going to try and practice more high guard and um, practice, practice techniques throwing from the high guard, like throwing push kicks and throwing low kicks from the high guard. Uh, I think they call that more like a Dutch style. Um, but yeah, I, the, the, one of the biggest things that will really help me improve my game right now is just keeping my left hand up and not getting tagged on left hand. And that includes defensively keeping my left hand up, so not really not using the Philly shell, but also offensively. Um, if I can throw from the high guard, throw my jabs from the high guard with my shoulder rolled up and, and my head tucked into my shoulder, that will help me a lot more in, uh, in not getting countered as I throw my jab. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed these sparring videos, and I'll see you in the next vlog.